What am I giving? You see the face, ho? I gotta stop cussing the first two minutes. You're a size too big, bitch, and my shit fit. I'm the first lady of Juicy Couture. Got a little cash now, so the skirt is Dior. And my lips look just like Amanda Lepore's. Child, that's what I'm giving right now. I'm giving black alt. Alternative. I'm giving I. T-G-I-R-L. You know I am that girl. Shh. Don't kiss and tell. A girl from ATL. That's what I'm giving, bitch. Period. Period. Okay. I was bored. <laughs> I was boy, you know how like every creator now, like your favorite creator is not really like uploading like like that, you know, and you know, did you, did you know like, I don't have money for like a membership for like every creator. I know it's only $5, but $5 times eight is a lot, you know, now that's TV is $5.99, Zoo's $5.99. Everything's five dollars. Okay? I don't I don't have it. Because at the end of the month, when I'm writing on my hundred dollars to make it the next couple of days so I get paid, and then here comes Apple charging me the five dollars times ten. There goes my little hundred dollars, baby. See? See where I'm getting at? Okay, so no. Done with that shit. I want that shit, okay? And I just, if you're gonna create a video, just create a video, you know? Like, if I ever get, like, a membership program or, like, something like Patreon or whatever, it's going to literally be me telling my personal business. That's what it would be. Like, if you're paying your, I feel like if I'm paying my money to you, then, like, I want to get to know you. You know, like, we could be, like, besties. Like, I want to feel like you're bestie. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Let's get into it, y'all. I don't have an Instagram. I literally do not be on the shave room like that. I literally don't. So, I'm not on B. So, let's just get 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 to it. <laughs> I got to find something I actually give a fuck about, though, first, y'all. Sexy Red Top 5 Female Rapper of All Time. That's what DDG thinks. I think Sexy Red got some bangers. Not Definitely not Top 5 Female Rapper of All Time. Not of All Time. Right now, she is trendy. Like, right now, she's the shit. Lancy, Lancy, I'm ghetto when I'm fancy. Mm, my hair and my, match my panty. Mm, sexy, look like a piece of cake. Yeah, you want a bad bitch. Diamonds dancing. I like Sexy Red. The song that Cardi B came out with, I really don't know what the fuck she's saying. Hair, nails, mood, glare. I don't know what the fuck she's saying with that. Um, I I don't know. I just don't understand what the fuck she be saying, child. With that new song, why yes? What is she saying? Not the why yes, and that's on me. I don't know what the fuck that means. If somebody could um comment down below and let me know what the fuck I be meant by that. Why yes and that's on me. What the fuck is she saying? Can someone let me know? Because I really want to be on B. You know, I don't want to be left out. So, anyways. Uh, what else? Flo Millie, that's my bitch right now. She did D's with Rich Boy. I feel like that needs to be, like, highly promoted right now. I have that shit in rotation. You know, to throw some D's on it. Just bought a Cadillac. Rich boy. 
Flo Millie. Flo Millie shit. He love how I write it. How many think I make him get excited? Flo Millie? Child. I don't know what's gotten into her, but the never lose me. Tell me y'all never wanna lose me. Tell me y'all never wanna lose me. That, she is on to something. Like, Flo Millie is definitely in rotation a thousand times this year. I keep me a hitch and I love me as all. I've been thinking about you on the road. We have a rich sex on a boat. I know that's right. I love Flo Millie. Child, what is this? Nicki Minaj concert. Oh shit, Karen Huger charged with DUI following recent car accident. We need to discuss this. Do we need to discuss this? 50 and up, my mature, grown and sexy women. Empty nesters. Why are you middle-aged women like so depressed nowadays like you guys have it all you're at the, the top percentile of of society like why why are modern mature women getting arrested for drunken disorderly and duis this is not a good look. And it's a lot of y'all out here. See, listen, around COVID, around COVID time, okay, a lot of these old silver foxes went out and was trying to get young hoes like me. Us young hoes, we don't want y'all old heads. We don't want y'all. You need to stay with your fucking wife of decades and years you need to stay with her i know y'all been together 25 30 plus years and it gets boring after a while but um you need to find something to spice it up and women you mature women y'all need to be start being grateful Get out of the house. Stop being cooped up in the house and drinking. Stop going out to dinner and, and, and having drinks. Because you're bored and you're depressed. Why are y'all depressed? Yeah, I mean, you guys have built this life for yourself. Your kids are doing good. Most of y'all have a man. And still acting drunk and disorderly. Ever since COVID, it was a lot, a lot of divorces. And it was like these men just got, they just went through like a second midlife crisis. These, these, these 50 and plus silver foxes, they went through this midlife crisis for the second time and left their families. And now, every time you turn around, every time I go on YouTube, there is cop cams of drunk and disorderly mature women. Now there's something up with that. There's something up with that. And, and nobody's really talking about that. But if you know an auntie or a mature woman and they've been acting like they're 21 again, knowing damn well their bodies cannot handle all that liquor, get an Uber. We understand you independent. The uh, Women, our aunties are never going to use Uber, okay? They drove their little bins or whatever, Genesis, down to the little bar Probably threw on a hat and said, fuck it, I'm out. I'm finna get fucked up. 
I'm just going to stay in the right lane and coast it on home and I'll be good. Yeah, I mean, your immune systems are not built like that no more. All right, what else we got, y'all? Lakia, she's still alive. She's still rapping and shit. Not to be rude, I'm just surprised. Let me turn my Wi-Fi off. Yeah, I'm not trying to be rude. Child. The thing with Cardi B, y'all eating this girl up for this 50-50 comment shit. First of all, I agree with Lovely T. Cardi B, you need to stop backpedaling. Like, stand on your shit. You know what I mean? That's why niggas like y'all because you guys tend to, you know, whatever my nigga likes, I like, you know, my nigga, my nigga. Like, you, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to say it in a nice way. But that's why niggas choose Mexican hoes because they're going to follow. Like, they may be like, oh, babe, you look better in blue. No, bitch. It's it's blood. It's just big bees over here. Yeah, you're right, daddy. Red is red looks amazing on you. Big bees. That's what y'all Mexicans will do, okay? So that's she Cardi B, I don't know. She be saying fuck her fans. She be acting like she don't give a fuck how her fans feel. Or she be acting like she don't do it for the fans. But girl, like I just feel like she needs us right now. She needs us to like her music. She's not confident in her music. That's why she don't want to offend us right now. Because we could really be honest and be like, girl, that shit's trash. What the fuck is you saying? Why S on S on me? What the fuck are you saying? But, you know, she's trying to agree with the, the general public right now. So that we can... Fuck with her music, child. That's all it is. And that's what Mexicans do. They use you, bitch. They use you. So, um, that 50 50 comment shit. Um, if my nigga was cheating on me, it would not be no 50 50. I'm going to just say that right now. Secondly, you make more than Offset, Cardi. That's why you around here promoting his projects and shit. Because you pay the mortgage. And he pays the other miscellaneous bills like the lights and the water, bitch. But you're paying the mortgage. Because you got to remember, he also has child support. He's not the Migos no more. It's fucking Offset. And Offset's net worth is not as big as the Migos' net worth. Okay? So, I understand that's why you promote promoting your man down to the ground. Because you want him to feel like a man. And it's hard for him to do that because you making all the money. You making all the money. You know, and that's why you got to put him on your projects. Oh, produced by Offset. You got to give him that credit so that the money can come into your household and maybe you will stop cheating because that's why he's cheating. He feels like less than a man because you're so successful. And that's why you need to stop mentioning that motherfucker on your songs and um, never get with the same nigga that's in the same industry as you. Yeah. Um, Cardi B, when she was talking about the 50-50 shit, her music does not match up with her mindset. That's why Sexy Red is one of the top five favorite motherfucking rappers right now, because Sexy Red is living that lifestyle. Sexy Red 
is in a whole relationship with her baby daddy. But she got a song called Fuck My Baby Daddy. Fuck my baby daddy. Fuck my baby daddy. I'm going outside. I ain't in the house sad. Fuck my baby daddy. Fuck my baby daddy. Yeah. 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 She had a whole baby shower with her family and friends. But then she only, she had another baby shower with just her. And, you know, her industry friends. And, you know, she's giving off that single mom lifestyle. My mama got the kids. Fuck my baby daddy. I'm outside. Fuck my baby daddy. I ain't going back home. Fuck them kids. She lives that lifestyle. She was at a music video and her mama was right there. And she said, here, did you change his diaper? Oh, no. Don't give him to me till you change his diaper. Yeah. Sassy Red is living that lifestyle behind the scenes and on camera. Cardi B, we loved her because she was so authentic. She was the stripper. Tommy was in, in prison. She was outside twerking for him. You know? And now it's just like you're married and you co-parent with the other baby mamas and you know, you make more money than the baby daddy, your husband, the baby mamas, the baby mamas new nigga. You make more money than all of them, so everybody's depending on you. Child. Monica takes the in Instagram and asks Ray J to stop speaking on her publicly. What the fuck is she talking about? After he repeatedly made comments about a Monica and Brandy tour, Monica says that any further conversation regarding a possible tour should happen in private. Chad, Monica and Brandy is not cool, right? Everybody been saying Nicki Minaj has been high as hell on stage. That's probably true. You got to understand. When Nicki Minaj, the past tours that Nicki Minaj has been on, she's been on Perks, on Erkies. So I can only imagine how scared she was going on tour being sober that's scary that's scary you know so them irks is like coke for some people it gives people energy carly russell placed on 12 month supervised probation after pleading guilty and kidnapping hoax judge says it would be a waste of government resources to put you in jail are you serious? Do y'all feel like she got off light? This is how I feel. I feel like the 12 month probation. I feel like that. That suits the crime. I do. However, I would do house arrest. Six months house arrest, six months probation. That's what I would do. Sit your ass down in the house. That way we all know where you're at at all times. Sit your ass down in the house. So that we know you're not plotting shit and all this motherfucking shit. So we know that you're not getting no ideas from the outside world. You don't got the time to go to your nigga house and, and chase him down and stalk him and then get upset and, and want to pull another hoax. You're going to sit your ass down at your mama and daddy house 
and you're gonna finish getting your motherfucking associate's degree, bitch. That's what you're gonna do. For six months. The other six months, you will be on the tether, bitch. Meaning you will have an anklet around your motherfucking ankle. So everybody will know that you're being monitored, bitch. Because we don't have time to play games with you. Oh, you will be on the tether. You will be on a tether. There is no early termination. I don't give a fuck if you pay off your dues early. There is no early termination, bitch. You will be monitored the full motherfucking 12 months. Okay? You will be motherfucking monitored the full 12 months. I don't give a fuck if you ask to do extra community service. No. I don't give a fuck if you don't have the money to pay monthly to keep that shit around your ankle. We'll probate it, bitch. We'll send it to collections. But you're going to be motherfucking monitored. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you gonna do. Because I, I feel like if I put you in jail, we might lose you amongst the 12,000 that's already in there. Because you're, you're too slick and slimy. You might try to act like you done fucking killed somebody just because... Bitch, you didn't get an extra fucking bologna sandwich the other day, ho. You might try to pretend like you pregnant just to get some chocolate milk instead of fucking 2% white, bitch. And we're not going to have you in an already stressful situation stress out our COs, bitch. No. 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 You're going to get your associate's degree. And if you want to go further, great. But you will get a motherfucking career, a job, something, bitch. Something to where you could use your mind to where you'll be exhausted mentally at the end of the day. So you won't have the energy to come up with any more bullshit. Bitch, I want you to write a letter and then come to the next city of commissioners meeting and present that shit live. Right. That's what I need you to do. Bitch, this is sentencing. I don't see any sanctions that they put on the bitch. So we're going to make the sanctions for the bitch. That's what the sanctions need to be. No community service or nothing like that because you like to manipulate motherfuckers. And no, we don't want to give nobody else a hard time, bitch. Tank said y'all ain't getting the Chris Brown package when y'all meet and greet him. Tank, no offense, my brother. But you're not fucking Chris Brown. <laughs> you're not Chris Brown, bitch. When when I see Tank, I see Tyrese. They both got the same value. Tank and Tyrese are, are on the same tier. Chris Brown is, is fucking almost Michael Jackson. What the fuck are you talking about? Joe, what else? Three, what? What does it say? This is some traumatizing shit. As of today, four of the six Mississippi law enforcement officers who pleaded guilty to the torture and abuse of two black men in January 2023 have been sentenced by a federal judge. Christian Deadman, who was considered the goon squad leader, was sentenced to 40 years in prison by a federal judge. This is too much. Why did it take them? Uh, have they been locked up this whole time? They said January 2023. That's a whole year and three months. 
Has he been locked up the whole time? I sure hope so. Child, Laura Pippen. I know you lying. Laura Pimpin and Marcus Jordan reportedly call it quits again. Again? Just weeks after reconciling, they're moving in different directions. They're in two different age brackets. Of course they're moving in two different directions. They've been in two different motherfucking directions. They're in two different age brackets. Let me get my chips. Like, are y'all fucking stupid? They're moving in two different directions. What? Larsa is focusing on her exciting new chapter now. She's always been someone who is ambitious and driven. She needs to match you as those similar qualities. What's she trying to say? He's not driven? Well, he, he don't want to give you all his money? She, He must not be making the money he thought he was making. She must thought he was going to make more money. That's what it sounds like to me. Why y'all think they broke up? I hope he's not stale. <laughs> I hope they're not stale. Are these there? I can't decide. Let me get one for the bottom. They're almost there, but they're not. One more, one more week out without them being closed up properly, they would have went stale. Mm. Mm. All the interracial couples are breaking up. Ray J and Princess finally called it quits. After the third fucking time announcing they were going to get a divorce. They are actually going to get a divorce this time. Which I think is good for the both of them. I really do. Larsa Pimpin and that dude, Michael Jordan star. This is the year of the exposed. Whoever has nefarious intentions is gonna get exposed this year. So, just remember that for entertainment and in your private life as well. Do y'all still watch Fox Soul? They don't be talking about shit for me. That's my opinion, though. That's just my opinion. But, uh... I just feel like the topics is so, like, boring and dry. Mm-hmm. 
Y'all heard they trying to get rid of TikTok? This is like they second time saying that shit, ain't it? Um, if you're going to do it, do it. Shit. We got them VPN shits. All I got to do is create a new VPN and we back on TikTok. Oh. Bennett. I don't give a fuck. Bitch. It's a marathon. We gonna find a way home. It's like we find a way to do every goddamn thing else. I'm too lazy to go out and get actual food. That's why I'm, I'm struggling like this. Chips. But I'm proud of our mom though. Y'all ain't talking about shit either, bitch. Looking at me. And then let me tell you why a lot of people don't be on YouTube no more. It's because y'all are so rude and so nasty. Y'all really are. Like in the comments, you don't motivate a bitch. And you know it is easier to focus on the negative comments than the positive, but I don't have that many positive comments. It's always somebody saying, oh, you sound like you're high. And then when I, when I talk fast, if I was the type of bitch to talk fast, oh, this bitch probably snort, snorting some coke. This bitch probably on speed. It's always something like, drop down in the comments. Tell me what the fuck you want to talk about. Like, bitch, I don't know, ho. I'm on here because it ain't shit to watch either. And the motherfuckers that, that I'm getting recommended about are snooze fest. Like, I just feel like everybody's trying to be so politically correct. And, like, they're scared to say normal shit. Like, I'm watching Lovely T and she was about to say, I'm sorry this offends anybody, but Stevie Weinstein is not an attractive man. He's not attractive. Why are you fucking apologizing? And it's because there's so many snowflakes on the internet. And it's like, people got to put a trigger warning just for talking about titties or I got my BBL trigger warning. Like, oh my God. It makes people not want to upload as frequently because it's just like your dude arguing with you at work or your bitch arguing with you while you're at work. That stresses you the fuck out. It makes you not even want to go home because you don't want to argue. And it's like, it makes people not even want to come on YouTube and upload a video because... Y'all just want to pick that person apart. Y'all just want to pick that person apart. And it's like, if you don't agree about something, like, y'all be so nasty in the comments. And it's like, if you disagree with something, make your own video. Why are you arguing with somebody else in the comments? That is so weird to me. Make your own channel and say your own opinion. It's not fucking rocket science. Like,
That's why, like, I don't think I would ever go live. I'm eligible to go live. Mm -mm. I don't think I will because people, they get a rise out of like, if they send you a, a super chat or if they're like just simply asking you a question in the chat, they feel like they belong to you when you acknowledge them. And I feel like that's the whole point of going live is to acknowledge your fans you know what I mean? Not ignore and just read your favorite comments. It's to acknowledge your fans. But I feel like people get a rise out of getting a reply back. And then it's like, when you do reply back to them, they're like, oh, no, bitch, I love you, though. I'm, like, in love with you, though. It's like, then why are you, like, being so hateful? It's weird. And that's because content creators only respond to the hateful messages, honestly. So, I want to talk about these David Dobrik content creators, Tyler Oliveira, Danny Mullen, the clear people. I don't like how, because of being an asshole and doing stupid pranks, is not popular no more. Now they want to start going to the border and reporting what's going on at the border and going to New York and reporting the immigrant stuff that's going on in New York. And it's like, you don't really give a fuck. You're just, and he's, half of these people are scary. They be, oh, we're on skid row they be scared as hell half the time nine times out of ten and more times than not they're paying these homeless people and these people on the street like twenty two hundred dollars just so they can get some content from them and like these videos get millions and millions of views and i feel like it's exploiting people it really is The only the only person I fuck with is Andrew Callahan from um News Five, Channel Five on YouTube. He actually gives a fuck. He actually knows Spanish. Like he's fucking fluent as hell in multiple languages. Other people gotta use a translator or bring somebody with them because they're scared. Tyler Oliveira, I don't respect him. I don't like him. I really don't. I'm gonna be real as fuck with y'all. My Wi Fi and shit is not loading on this tablet. <laughs> My plan was to go on the shade room and talk and like react and you know kiki about different topics and i can't even get past the first goddamn row of stories um bro like i'll click on it the picture won't load Bitch, I don't know what to do. Like, every time I try to do a video, something always fucks up. I swear to God. 
Every time I try to do a video, it's always something. Either somebody's knocking on my goddamn door or my tablet is not working or my phone keeps fucking falling or <laughs> or I'm just fucking tired. I don't know. I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to try to edit some awkward parts out. If I'm not too lazy. Alright. I love you.